Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So I'm excited for today because I have a project that I am super, super glad to have finished and I am actually really excited to show it to you guys because this one, I kind of showed you the process of it, um, what I was going through, <laughs> a little bit of the process of when I was making it. And I think that makes it so much more anticipated and just really, um, I honestly, I really enjoyed that and I hope you guys did too. So I, I'm just really, really excited to show it to you guys basically. So a few videos ago, I made a a video showing you guys that I was working on two hippo patterns. I ended up working on two hippo patterns because I originally wanted to make a pattern called the Melman Hippo Pattern. And it's really cute. It's a free hippo pattern, but I just ended up getting stuck. I had the head finished, the ears, the nostrils, and then I made the muzzle the stout and that's when everything went wrong it it's actually i think it's kind of a funny video if you guys haven't watched it yet i recommend it um i think it's it's kind of interesting uh but yeah <laughs> it went wrong i just after i finished the snout i am glad that i stopped what i was doing and i held it against the head because something was off and i don't know i guess i've actually had a couple people tell me that they had problems with the pattern as well uh i I don't know. It's a free pattern and it's a really, really cute pattern. And maybe I will try it out again one day. But because I had problems with that, um, honestly, the snout, like the second row of the snout, I was kind of uh, a slightest bit confused already. So that should have been a... But I don't know, I guess I should have started another pattern. But by that time, I had already finished the head and the head took me like at least an hour and a half. Um, anyways, since I had already made a Just Huff pattern before, a Just Huff Hippo pattern, it's a free pattern. And I did enjoy working on that. I remember I made it like in a teal color and it was so cute. And it had been a while since I made it. I just, I was having problems with that first pattern. And I decided I'm just going to go back to the Just Huff pattern because I know it works. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So basically, I ended up making the head of the hippo, the limbs, the body, and then I ran out of the, the yarn that I was using. So I had to go back to the original hippo that I made and start undoing some of the pieces. I decided to first undo the snout and um, I'm going to show you the finished Just Huff Hippo pattern. But there are a couple things that are different on this one that I finished and the, the pattern. If you go look up Just Huff Hippo, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to tell you guys uh, what I did differently. But look at <laughs> It's got a giant um nut this is a snout or a muzzle i think for a hippo it's a snout so it's got a giant snout and it's so cute i love it so much and i really hope she does too i actually haven't even sent her a picture yet which is my bad i usually i'm like on top of that but i just i guess i wanted to show you guys first <laughs> i just finished this and i'm so excited i want to take it outside and take really nice pictures of it um, since it's a nice day today, it's really hot outside, but it's nice and sunny. So hopefully I can take some good pictures of it. She wanted it to be in this blue color. And this is Red Heart Super Saver Royal Blue. I use 22 millimeter safety eyes. These are the biggest eyes that I own. And I love these. I buy them from Amazon and it comes with a bunch of them. So I have uh, plenty for right now, but... I will link these in the description box below because sometimes it's hard to find like nice safety eyes and I really do like these. They lock in really well. So these are probably like for right now my favorite large safety eyes. I kind of want to get some though with glitter around them. Uh, maybe eventually so I will try to look into that. But anyways, I got to focus on this hippo. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun making this. 
Uh, like I said, I made the body, the limbs, the head, and then I ran out of yarn. So I, wait, that doesn't make sense. When did I need to undo the, oh, it, <laughs> I made the limbs and the head. It was when I was making the body that I ran out of yarn. So I had to start undoing the first uh, hippo that I made, the, the snout for it. So I did that and this is what I have left of the snout. So I have this piece right here. And this was a pretty big thing. And then I have rolled up yarn. And I have the head left from the Melvin the Hippo. So um, I guess I'll talk about this in a second. But the differences between my Hippo and the Just Huff Hippo. I ended up using the ears that I had already made for the Melvin pattern. And I kind of like them a little bit more. Uh, these were a lot easier to make than the Just Huff ones because those, uh, it, it works up differently. This is like a, a magic ring kind of, and you just cinch it. The Just Huff pattern, it's worked in the magic ring from up here and then you, I don't really know how to explain it. It's worked in... <laughs> like a piece that you would think you would stuff it but you don't stuff it if that makes sense oh my gosh this sounds horrible honestly I'm just going to try to put a picture of the pattern and you'll see the difference I really like these ears they're a lot smaller too and I think hippos are really funny because they're these big animals that have small ears so I enjoyed um putting these ears on And I used the little nostrils that I had already made. I used these instead of the Just Huff ones because if I remember correctly, those were kind of like chains. But these were in the magic ring so they were rounder and I really like these more. Also, for the limbs, I took off two rows of single crochet. And so it, it made them a little bit smaller. As in like long. <laughs> and I like these more than hers i just think they were a little bit too long on her pattern that's why i did that for the legs i just took off one round i think which probably didn't make a huge difference but i i really like them i just thought the arms were a little bit too long on her pattern so i just took off two rows of single crochet uh i think there was something else i did different oh for the pads on the limbs she wants you to do it ends up being three rows of back loop only i think one of them you do back loop only single crochet then you do back loop only slip stitch and then you have to do back loop only single crochet again and that last back loop only single crochet when you're working into the slip stitch is kind of hard to do um you have to do the same thing up here too and i did do it here because I made the head before I made the limbs and I struggled a little bit to work back into the slip stitch so I decided not to do that for the circles and um I think it looks fine honestly I I think the reason for that is I have to look at the picture again but I think it's so you don't have this like spiral type where these lines come out when you color change but it doesn't really bother me and I think it's cute <laughs> I actually like that so this was my hippo with just a few changes here and there but I really enjoy this pattern and if you've made it before you can like if you have one already made and you're making a second one you could work it to where you want to put your if you wanted to crochet your limbs onto the body so you would only have to sew the body and the head and then all the pieces on the head so I really like this. It honestly doesn't bother me to sew on limbs like this, though. They're super easy, too. But, I mean, I guess if you wanted to crochet them on, you could. Um, sometimes I enjoy sewing them more, though, than crocheting them on because you could kind of angle them. And when you crochet them on, they, they go on there straight, just on the rows. So I hope that makes sense. Um, this was a really fun pattern, and... For the blue, I just used this scrap ball of blue. I don't know what type of yarn this is, but I absolutely love it. 
and I'm glad I have a big scrap ball of it because I'm excited to keep using it for more projects. I really like this. Uh, it has like specks of white. It's like woven into the yarn. So I really, really love this. It's beautiful. And I think it worked perfectly with this royal blue. I did use a five millimeter hook. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, oh, it's so big and I love it. So back to the Melman pattern. I did end up undoing the snout. So I just have this little piece left and the head. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have any more of this yarn. If I wanted to keep making this, I, I don't have any more. So I would have to like keep going. This right here is um, big twist yarn. So it is different. And even the Red Heart Super Saver is a little bit thicker than the Big Twist yarn. And since I'm already having proportion problems with this, I wouldn't really want to use uh, two different size of yarns, even though they're the same weight. They're, they're both worsted weight yarn, but I already know that the Big Twist is a little bit thinner than Red Heart yarn. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I might one day end up buying some more royal blue and finishing this or maybe just frogging it and using it for other uh, projects. For right now, I'm not going to undo this. I will leave it like this and I will put it in my scrap ball basket. And if I need it, I will undo it then. But for right now, I think I'm going to keep the slightest bit of hope alive for finishing the Melman pattern. And because um, I am really, really interested in seeing like where was the problem? Was it with me or was it with the pattern? Um, if I did do it again, I would probably uh, like go back to this project. If I did remake it, I would probably just undo this snout and just start the snout fresh just in case if I went wrong with that um, initial couple rows of the snout. But that is it, I think, for right now. I I really love this hippo, and I'm glad I made it. Kind of want to make another one now. Definitely, I would... I think, though, I would keep using these type of ears and these nostrils for the pattern and then do those slight changes on the limbs just to have them a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest change was the ears and I would probably keep doing that in future hippos. So this is a free pattern. I think I did mention that both of the patterns, both of the hippos that I mentioned are free patterns. They're both on blogs. One of them, which is the Melman pattern, it gives you the PDF for free. And I think this one you have to pay for the PDF. I think, but I didn't really run into that because I just used it off the blog. So yeah, this is the adorable Hippa and it'll probably be going to its new home very soon. So <laughs> I thought you guys would enjoy this Hippo journey with me. Thank you so much for coming along with me and for all your, your guys' comments were the absolute best in that last video when I was showing you guys those two hippos. I really appreciate you guys so much. It was so motivating because I was confused and a little bit irritated and I just, I really, really enjoyed uh, reading your guys' comments and responding to them. It did make a huge difference to my day and to the hippo because after reading your guys' comments, I was super, super motivated to finish the hippo. So I think that's um, like, that's amazing. We have each other and we need to keep lifting each other up. And I'm so thankful every single day for you guys and for the yarn community and for all the amazing yarn friends that I have made through um, this channel and you guys are all amazing and I love you guys so much. So thank you for joining me on this hippo journey and hopefully uh, we can go on another Amigurumi journey soon. Maybe one that won't be so irritating. <laughs> Maybe one that'll be a little bit easier, but I'm excited. I want to keep uh, recording videos and try to take you guys along on the process of making Amigurumis. I think that was fun and let me know if you guys enjoyed that too. So um, yeah, it was different than definitely just showing up here and being like, I made a hippo. <laughs> I got to take you guys along on the journey with me. So yeah, um, thank you again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.